I'm happy to be here. You guys happy to be here? I'm happy as all Kelly at a Hannah Montana concert, right? I'm happy I am. With a weak bladder, you know what I'm talking about, son? I'm getting older now, man. My body's going through some changes, man. Just turned 50 this year, getting older. And I remember when I was younger and I had to pee. I could run all day long outside, come home, have dinner, take a nap, then pee. Now when I think about peeing, I've already peed on myself. And if I cough for hard, I'll shit on myself. That ever happened to you, sir? No? <coughs> oh, there it is right there. There it is right there. I'm using my reading glass now to roll up my medical marijuana. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm working on honesty as I get older. I'm trying to be honest. My honesty's gotten me some trouble lately. You know, I was on this airlines, and I can't mention the airlines, uh, Delta Airlines. <laughs> and there was a stewardess on the plane, and she was an elderly lady, and I don't have a problem with the elderly working. Work as long as you can. But she was old. And when she walked past me, I'm like, damn! They don't make them like they used to. And she turned around and looked at me and said, sir, is there a problem? I, I'm like, no, nah, I was just wondering how long you've been with the company. She said, sir, this is my ID badge and my start time. And it was a picture of her with two dudes and a one propeller plane. It was the Wright brothers. <laughs> she was old. I got kids. I got nine kids, y'all. Yeah, I'm not even Mexican. I got nine kids. <laughs> And I'm honest with my kids. I raised them old-fashioned way. Like my mom raised me with honesty. My mom told me at a young age, she said, Skip, you're never too big. I can't bring you down to size. She said, don't let me take that refrigerator and knock you out with it. <laughs> so me being a smart kid at a young age, so mom, if that's the case, you might want to let me eat some of the groceries first. Lighten up the load. I was knocked out for three days, y'all. I woke up with refrigerator on my forehead, <laughs> and I was a little chilly. I'm honest with my boys. My oldest boy plays basketball up at USC. Called me and said, hey, Dad, my girlfriend's pregnant. I'm like, okay, son, I can handle the pregnancy, son. How you doing in school, son? He said, Dad, I'm doing fine, and I'm staying focused. I said, son, focused? I said, you know your team mascot is the Trojan. <laughs> you ain't learning nothing in school, son. <laughs> my 15-year-old son came home with a math problem. and said, hey, Dad, I got this math problem. Can you help? I'm like, sure, son. I can do a 10th grade math problem. What's the problem, son? He said, Dad, if I got five mice and four pounds of cheese, and they take half the cheese away, how much cheese would each mouse need to eat to get an equal share? I looked him straight in his eyes. I said, son, don't be asking me no shit like that. <laughs> you know I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> and I don't know trigonometry. Ask your mama. One of my best friends came over to the house with his boys playing PlayStation with my boys, and he asked his son Tommy to take out the trash. And Tommy said no, and kept on playing PlayStation. Now my boys jumped under the table. They thought some stuff was about to go down, you know what I mean? So the next day I asked my son, I said, Enrico, take out the trash. He says no, kept on playing PlayStation. Now about 30 minutes later, his older brother came out of the room and said, hey dad, I have not seen my younger brother lately. I said, that's right, son. You are now one brother short. <laughs> I don't play that stuff, man. School system's all jacked up, isn't it? Teachers having sex with the kids nowadays. Where were these teachers when I was going to school? <laughs> kids calling 911 on their parents, sir. Can you imagine calling 911 on your mom? I grew up in a house with a rotary phone, y'all. Nine. Did pa! <laughs> Never mind. Click it. Wrong number. I'm raising stepkids too, and everybody raising stepkids, stepkids are a hard job. Because as a step parent, you don't want to hear those words they say, right? You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Simple solution, step parents. Just put your arm around little step kids. Now you're right, little step kid. <laughs> I'm not your dad. This house, not your house. That flat screen, that PlayStation, that food refrigerator ain't your shit. Then you walk up to the door and so I'll get the hell out. <laughs> I'm on the road a lot. I love traveling as a stand-up comic. I stay in some great hotels. Stay in some five-star hotels. You ever stay in that one-star hotel? You know the hotel where you can see your hand through the washcloth hotel? 
You know the hotel with a little bar soap and you wash your body and you lose the soap hotel? Then three days later, you're walking through Walmart and the soap just pops out of nowhere. You ever stay at that hotel? <laughs> fellas, relationships, ladies, relationships, you wanna be the king of your castle, fellas? You gotta treat your woman like a queen. Ain't that right, ladies? That's right. Ladies, you wanna be the queen of your castle? You gotta treat your man like a king. Ain't that right, fellas? Yeah. And it's real simple, fellas. Real simple. Women say they want the little things. Cause women are like flowers. They need to be nurtured and treated right so they can stay moist. You follow me? <laughs> like do the little things for your ladies, fellas. Like open up the car door for your lady. She loves you to do that kind of stuff. Stop jumping in the car, driving down the block, and realize she's not even in the car with you, man. <laughs> now you gotta come all the way back. Get in the car, you're going. <laughs> do something nice for your lady every now and then. Run a hot tub of water for your lady. Have some candles from the bedroom to the tub, some bubble bath, and, and sir, use real bubble bath, okay? <laughs> Don't use the joy in the kitchen. Cause then she'll wind up with a rash for three days she can't get rid of. And when you run in the water, make sure you know your ladies, fellas. When you run in that water, make sure you know your lady because if she's a Lane Bryan kind of girl, don't fill the tub all the way to the top. <laughs> Forget y'all, that's funny to me. I don't care about it. <laughs> Stay in love is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Life is good for me right now. Getting older, like I said, you know, I, uh, I truly believe in uh, relationships and marriage and staying focused. Go to bed in the nude. Go to bed in the nude, because you never know what you might bump into, right? Because you can't get mad with a titty in your mouth, sir, can you? No, you can't do that. I tried it one time, I was mad at my wife, like, girl, every time, she was like, oh, 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 This is what I was born to do, man, stand-up comedy. I love doing stand-up. I've had some great jobs. I used to work for the Department of Corrections in New York City. Got fired, so I told my first joke, it was a knock-knock joke. It was an inmate in the end doing some hard time. He said, hey, Officer Clark, I heard you doing stand-up. Tell me a joke. I'm like, man, I only got one joke. He said, I don't care, I'm in here for life. Tell me a joke. I'm like, okay. Knock, knock. He said, who's there? I said, can't get out. He said, who? I said, you, you can't get out. That's my time. Skip Clark, y'all. Thank you very much.